Hello YouTube, it's a quick video here showing you when you have any Lexus ES350 Toyota Highlander Toyota Camry V6 or Lexus RX350 like this one how a little hose like this can ruin your engine and I'm gonna show you where this hose fell especially when this car got probably a hundred and forty thousand mile and uh, it's horrible because you're gonna lose little by little all the oil and you're gonna blow the engine is that's the reason when you have a used car you got to step every time you step out of the car look a little bit underneath to see if you have any leaks thank God I think I catch this on time but we lost a lot of oil now this hose goes right there I know everybody's gonna say I shouldn't use those clamp, but unfortunately, those are the only one the AutoZone got because the only type of clamp that is that design right there, that one, nobody have it, unless you go to a Toyota dealer. So this is just temporary until I do the metal ones, the sales in Amazon, the metal system. I think a Toyota used this hose because vibration right here on this area from the engine well, guys, uh, when the car reaches 100,000 miles, 150,000, 140, 130, I strongly recommend that you change both. I just changed this just right now so I can keep going. But later on, I'm going to change the other one right there behind, okay? So, guys, please, very careful with this because then you're going to be no oil and then you're going to blow the engine again. Thank you. Like, subscribe, make any suggestions. Trying to help you here, guys. Avoid major catastrophe with the blowing engine, no oil. And the funny thing, my engine didn't even have the oil light on. I changed that switch, I put a brand new switch. But you can see all the oil everywhere, uh, all the mess they create. But uh, at least this is temporary, so until I can get the right clamp. Thank you, like, subscribe, subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Thank you.